How expensive is Budapest? If you visit the Hungarian capital, Hajneko. You might want to know how much money you need to take and in this video we have the answers for you. So the way this video works is that we will be going through some of those items that you as a tourist will definitely spend money on. We will list them somewhere here on my side, but you can also use the chapter selection if you're interested in very specific items, like how much you would spend on lunch, how much you would spend on public transport, or taxis, or any of these things. You can find these here under the chapters, and at the very end we will also tell you the average budget you may need for a day. So let's get right into this. So a disclaimer first, Hungary uses the forint, but we will show you guys the prices in euros, just to make it simple. But the thing is that right now we record this in January of 2023, and the Euro-Hungary conversion rate has been going all over the place. So if it has changed, probably it's for the better for you Western Europeans who come to Hungary. So if you want to know more about how to exchange forints, or if you need to use cards in Hungary, then we actually have another video where we answer some of the most common questions. Go check that out after this one. So first let's talk about transportation. You might come to Hungary using a plane and then from the airport you need to get into the city. And in order to do that you can use the bus, which is 100E, that's the express bus that uses a special ticket, which costs less than 4 euros, but alternatively you can use a cab that's gonna be roughly 30 euros depending on how deep into the city you are going. Now once you are in the city, you might want to use the public transport because Budapest has a really really good public transport system. If you just want to use one ride once, then you're gonna buy a single ticket which will be less than one euro. If you're here for multiple days but want to walk a lot, you might want to look at the 10 ticket book option. But if you want to get around as fast as you can, and save time by using the trams, the buses frequently, then look at the day pass options. But the real pro gamer move is to have a look at the 5 slash 30 day ticket option. It's cheaper than 72 hours. I don't know how our public transport company did that, but there you go. There's a link in the description for you if you don't believe it. Next, let's talk about food. It's the morning. You might want to get a really nice brunch. And there are a ton of places in Budapest that you can choose from. So depending on how expensive you want to get, you're looking at a price somewhere between 10 to 15 euros per person. But my personal recommendation for you is to go to the market or to the butchers and try to get a sausage for breakfast. You will not be disappointed. Now that you had some breakfast, let's get some coffee. And I would recommend for you to visit one of these specialty coffee places here in Budapest because they are really, really nice. And if you do visit them, you're gonna be spending around two to three euros. But if you're looking for a more traditional experience, you can go to some of those fancy cafes in Budapest where you can also get a nice slice of cake next to your coffee. Then you'll be spending somewhere around eight to 10 euros. And now let's start to explore Budapest. Now there are many places you can visit. Some of them will require entry fees. We have the Basilica, we have the Matthias Church, but you can also go to museums. For example, the Museum of Fine Arts, the House of Music, or you can visit the Parliament itself. You can also visit the city zoo. But one thing you should definitely visit is a thermal bath. And depending on if you're going on a weekday or a weekend, the prices might differ, but for the three most popular ones, like Széchenyi, Gellért or Rudas, you're gonna be paying somewhere around 20 to 30 euros. But if you're looking for a cheaper option, and don't mind that the architecture won't be as impressive as in Széchenyi or Gellért, you might wanna look at Valley Bay, which costs roughly 10 to 12 euros. Now that you have explored some museums and some thermal baths, you might want to grab a snack. And one of the Hungarian specialties that you should definitely try is the langos. Now if you go for the simple version, which you definitely should, with the sour cream and cheese, you will be spending somewhere between 4 to 5 euros. But if you have a sweet tooth, we will recommend for you the chimney cake, which we call Kürtös Kalács. Normally that will cost somewhere around 5 euros, but if you go to railway stations and subway stations, you might find some of these smaller booths, where you will get them for cheaper. Now, if you want a more substantial food for your lunch or dinner, you will go to a restaurant. 
And for your benefit, we looked at the places we have visited before or plan to visit in the future to give you guys the idea of how much it would cost to get a soup or an appetizer next to, you know, your main dish, plus a dessert in the end. And in the meantime, you'll be sipping on a beer or a nice wine. Well, if you are getting all of these, you'll be spending somewhere between 25 to 35 euros. Now, one of the reasons why Budapest is a really popular place to visit is because we have the Danube River and the views from the river looking at the parliament building and the castle district, especially during the evening when they are lit up, are just breathtaking. And you can get this experience if you go for a river cruise. Now, there are two kinds of options you can choose from. One of them is the plain sightseeing tour that will cost you roughly 15 to 25 euros, depending on which company you're going with. Then there is the other option with the entertainment and the dinner. This will be a little bit more expensive, roughly around 50 to 70 euros. So make your choice. If you just wanna see the nice sights, go for the cheaper one, but if you want the dinner and maybe some nice Hungarian dance as well, you can choose the other more expensive option. And finally, you might want to experience the nightlife of Budapest, so you may go to a bar. And if you are a beer person, a wine person, someone who enjoys cocktails, we have the prices somewhere here for you. So let's summarize, how expensive is Budapest? How much money you will need here for a single day? Well, we did the math and the average comes to roughly around 100 euros. Now, obviously this number might be higher or lower. It really depends on your personal preferences, but we believe it should give you an idea what to plan with. You can have a cheaper experience. You can go for longer walks. You can go to the cheaper museums and have the cheaper snacks. You'll spend around 80 euros in that case, but if you go for the river cruise with the dinner, if you go for the thermal bath in Seicheni and Galliard, you can go all the way up to 120 or even further than that in euros. Nevertheless, Hungary is considered an inexpensive country compared to Western European ones, and it has a ton of amazing experiences for you, and if you want to know what you can do here, Go and check out some of our other videos, like our Best of Budapest playlist, for example. Hope when you guys come here, you will have an excellent time. And now you know how expensive Budapest is. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys in our next video. Bye!